Hey, good morning. This is Dr. Michelle of uh, Second Chance Secrets and Secrets of Life and Death coming to you from the Sunset Cemetery with Sunrise Diaries. And today the topic is resistance. Because guess what? I woke up this morning feeling resistant. I thought, oh man, I've been doing these little diaries every morning for over a week. Hey Virginia, thank you for joining. And I was like, oh, can I just take a day off? Well, of course I took the weekend off because I take the weekend off every weekend. And it got me thinking about this resistance thing. What is this resistance about? The antidote or the solution to resistance is curiosity. That you take a look and say, well, what is this resistance about? You know, is it because I'm afraid I don't have a subject this morning? Well, I didn't, although I came up with one pretty quickly. And then there's this resistance. Sometimes you're just tired. And maybe the resistance is the inner child saying, I need a break. And I got to tell you, I need a break because it's been a long time since I've had any real time off, you know, like a day here, a day there, maybe a three day weekend, maybe not. And we're actually going to go away to Oregon for a couple of weeks. Now, I don't know that I'm going to take all of it off, but I am going to take some time off and that'll be wonderful. But meanwhile, here I am with a ton of things to do before I take off. Have you ever had that experience? Hey, Virginia, have you ever had that kind of thing where, you know, you're going to go away and you actually do more work than ever before? And yet there's a part of me that's been just going and going and going and, oh, what do I do? How do I let that go? So curiosity is part of it. What's going on? Don't beat yourself up for being resistant. Resistance is often your body telling you something important. Maybe you're resistant because you have to do something that you're not sure about how to do. And so you put it off. Or maybe you're resistant because you're afraid that you're not going to do it well enough or it's not good enough or so you get nervous and then you resist and you postpone it and you delay it and you procrastinate, you know, the procrastination. So I've been working on some new uh, write-ups about myself on LinkedIn and on Friday I was working on it and I got a phone call from somebody who always takes up gobs and gobs of my time. Now I could have not answered the phone, but oh no, I answered the phone and then of course two hours went by and then it was too late. And at first I was angry at her, then I was angry at me, and then I said, you know what? Maybe I just needed to surrender to my resistance. Maybe it's okay to say, I just need some time. Of course, was having a conversation with this person the best way, or was it just the most expedient way? So if you're going to be resistant, how can you do it in a way that really supports you? that is nurturing to you, that actually really restores and feeds the soul. Now, I know that there are certain things that restore and feed my soul. For example, playing the guitar or drawing. But what do I do? <laughs> I watch TV. No, I don't really watch TV. I watch movies or I read a book or I do something that just shuts my mind off. And it doesn't really restore me. Now going out in the garden, that restores me and I always spend a lot of time on the weekend doing that, going out into my garden. And do you have a garden? I, I find that the plants and the growth and, and being with the soil is very grounding and very um, nurturing. So what do you do when you feel resistant and yet you know that you have to get this stuff done? Because I, whoa, I'm on a timeline. I have a lot of stuff to get done in this week. And there's a part of me that's saying, ah, I just want to take time off. I just want to sleep more. Please stop. So there may be a balance here. There may be a need to create more balance in your life and to recognize that resistance is your body or your inner child or part of yourself saying, wait a minute, take a look, pay attention, be aware. And so that's what all my sun Sunrise Diaries have been about is having greater awareness of yourself. What's going on? 
paying attention both to the internal and external landscape. So let's take a moment and be aware of the external landscape. So how about you, Virginia? What, what are you noticing around you? Now, I've got a lot of gravestones around me. This is, this is one of my favorite places to go because it's quiet, because it has a really great view of the horizon I'm gonna show you. Hey, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, this, is, this is a high viewpoint of the bay, and I like to come up here because usually there aren't a lot of people up here, and it's quiet, and there's this view of the world, and that's why I like to get, do my uh, diaries here, is because it helps me to settle into myself and be kind to myself and be aware. So take a look around yourself and say, well, what are you noticing around you? What catches your eyes? What delights you? Are you in a room right now? Are you taking a walk yourself? What do you notice? Even this little action will help to restore your energy, will help to restore your groundedness, your centeredness. Now, I notice that sometimes when I'm, you know, I'm writing, material for a website or something and I and I get stuck so I get up and I go to the refrigerator do you do that you go to the refrigerator and you start eating something because you're feeling nervous or anxious and that's what that's what mammals do when they're anxious they eat how about if you pause and take a breath and go outside and breathe the air instead of eating now that's a high level response. And sometimes, you know what? I just want that dark piece of chocolate. And, and the little inner child says, no, I'm not going outside. I'm gonna just stay here and, and eat my chocolate. And you know what? It only takes one little tiny piece of chocolate. So I said, okay, back to work again. How can you be more kind to yourself? How can you be more loving more gentle, more gracious. Because, hey, you know what? We only have one life. And if we spend all of our time pushing and forcing ourselves, well, that's a hell of a life, isn't it? So take a moment, take this moment right now to take that breath, to pay attention, to check inside. And what do you notice? How have you been loving yourself? What do you have to be grateful for? That's always a good place to start is, oh, I'm really grateful to this beautiful place that I get to go to every morning. Although I don't always go on the weekends. I take time off. I think it's a good idea to take some time off once in a while. You know, like maybe you start an exercise program Maybe you take off one day a week. Well, I have to tell you, when I used to be a long distance runner, I never took a day off. Because when I took a day off, it set me back so far. Or I believed it did. But you know what? I just think that that was a mindset. I think I probably could have taken a day off. I think it's good to take a day off. It's like getting out of the box. You get into a routine and then you stop noticing what it is that you're doing. When you get out of the box, when you take a moment to check in, to do something different, then when you go back to it again, it's new and fresh again. So maybe if you're writing something and you're having a hard time writing it, or actually I'm working on some flyers, I've got a, an event coming up in November and I had to create a flyer, and then I'm also doing a bunch of face readings on one day. I think it's the 12th of November, so you might want to check it out for like five, four hours. And I'm going to be doing face readings, and I'm trying to get the figure out the flyer, but also how can I set up the appointments? Because my scheduler only schedules like, you know, days of the week or times or successive you know, week after week, and this is only one day. So I'm still trying to figure out that problem. 
And part of me says, ah, just give them an email and then we'll figure it out that way. I think I may go with that. Go with the easy. Don't make life so complicated. Life is complicated enough. Well, Virginia, I just love it that you're, that you're hanging in there with me. Do you have any questions? You could put a question or you can post a thumbs up or a heart. I would love it if you would do that. And you might want to join, if you're not already joining, have joined my Facebook group, Share Your Brilliance Trainings, which is all about, well, living your life purposefully, living your life fully aware with spirit. That's what it is. It's living your life with spirit, recognizing that you are this soul having a human adventure. And, and part of that adventure is fulfilling your soul's code, your destiny. So while you're on here, I also want to tell you that I'm going to be doing a workshop on, oh gosh, I don't know, it's also in November. I'll be sending, putting information out about it at some point. But please, if you like this kind of conversation, I see you're still here, I'm amazed. Join my Share Your Brilliance trainings. What are you brilliant at? What, what are you longing to share with the world? What is your gift to the world? Why are you here? When you tap into that, when you tap into why it is that you're here and you make that part of your life, that's when you feel most alive. That's when you feel excited, energized, your mind gets stimulated and you feel, you feel like, I'm here for a reason. This is good. So I'm just taking a moment to see if I can hear your voice in my head. What do you want to know, Virginia? I love the name. Virginia. Are you a speaker? Do you see yourself as a change maker? Are you looking for something? Are you looking for something new, something exciting? Are you a little bored? Do you want to have some more excitement in your life? It's hard in the midst of this pandemic to, to do that. I mean, we don't go anywhere. Last, last weekend, my husband and I drove down to San Jose for a, um, a shelter in place wedding. And it was so exciting. We hadn't been over the Bay Bridge in months. It was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Have you experienced that? It's like suddenly you do something and you haven't driven your car in like forever? In fact, I actually had a problem with my car. The, the, the battery was, was starting to go dead because I hadn't driven it for so long. It's interesting, we, we drive our cars all the time and then we get into this situation where we're not going anywhere and the, um, the car, its battery runs down. Whoever knew that they that these little vehicles required so much attention from us? You know, we just it was automatic that we did it. It's kind of like, you know, you just walk your dog every day. Anyway, I gee, do you hear that? That's a hawk. That's a hawk crying. That's kind of special, huh? And let's see, is there anything else I want to share with you around? It's beautiful, it's clear. We have clean air. Look at the sky. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that palm tree. I am so grateful. But we're still in fire season and we may have more fires. I hope not. You have an awesome day, Virginia. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing this moment with me. And be kind to yourself when you feel resistant. Tap in, check in with yourself and say, is this resistance because I'm afraid of doing something? That I'm afraid of not being good enough? Am I afraid of getting it wrong? Or am I resistant because I need a break? I need some time off. It's my body's way of saying, slow down. Now this interesting thing about the body is that when you don't heed it and you really do need to slow down, you could get sick. Of course, you could also get sick just because you're afraid. 
your body is very accommodating. It will, I, I have known people who, well, I'm in Toastmasters, so people are signed to do their speech and a lot of them get sick right before, right the day of they're supposed to give their speech, they get sick. Now, I don't know if they really get sick or because sickness is just the perfect excuse, but I have run into that a lot, that if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't listen to yourself, Sometimes your body just has to amp up the message and say, wake up, pay attention to me. It's time to slow down. It's time to take a break. It's time to enjoy the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this moment with me. Kisses and hugs, be brilliant, have a great day, and bye for now.